victim's name is Leo Kopernik, sir. Seems he was killed in the costume store. <laughs> deposited here. Staged, so to speak. Sorry, sir. Saoirse, how are you doing today? Hi, Rory. How are you? I'm good. Such a pleasure to talk to you. First of all, I think it's very early in the film. You use a line when someone has knocked over a cake and you say, when they disturbed the sponge. And I think I lost the next five minutes of the film because I could not stop laughing oh. at how you just delivered that one line. <laughs> <laughs> There's a certain kind of camp in, in this film, and I mean that with the highest praise, uh, what was that like a difficult kind of margin of comedy for you to, because obviously you've done comedy before, but this, this feels kind of brand new. Yeah, you're right. It is quite camp, actually. Um, I mean, I love that. I, I love doing that sort of comedy, and um, I was very, very nervous about it, which is why I wanted to take it on, because, you know, I've said so much over the years how much I love the genre of comedy and it's my favorite thing to watch and I think it takes so much talent and skill to be able to do it really really well so to get to be a part of an ensemble like this people who are incredibly gifted in that field and um working on a script that just sort of like handed you these amazing one-liners on a plate like that was that was a real treat for me and I you know I decided to do it right in the middle of lockdown and I think I just needed to do something that was just fun and silly and um, yeah, we had the best time. I, I'd say so because this cast is so eclectic and everyone is so good in it and there's something about the murder mystery comedy genre that seems to be making a massive comeback because obviously we had Knives Out, we had uh, Only Murders in the Building, we had The After Party, and it's it's this perfect mix of, yes, you get to be funny, but also there is a proper whodunit at the centre of it. How far into the script when you were reading it were you like, I think I know who has done it and, and where you write? I really didn't know. I, I really didn't know until the very very end i really didn't expect it um but you're right i think having that like thriller element a bit of darkness and also like the absurdity of a whodunit as well it's so far-fetched it's so they're like even with something like murder on the orient express and all these famous whodunit pictures from the past there there's something incredibly dramatic and there's always a glamour there somehow mm. as well um and and yeah, so I really enjoyed like the contrast between this like beautiful theater world and um, a bunch of idiots and a murder. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have to say as well, like whenever it's a very Irish thing, whenever anyone like Irish does anything good or, or like, you know, kind of stands up in the crowd, you're like, yes, one of ours, we've done it. And when I seen yourself and Paul were announced for Foe, I read Foe the second it came out because I loved on oh. thinking of end and things. And I was like, oh yes, this is fantastic. Yeah. So for you, when you when you like, first of all, how is Foe going? And secondly, do you also keep an eye on upcoming Irish talent to go, I wanna I wanna work with them? Yeah, I mean I've wanted to work with Paul for a long time um and we actually have the same agent which is really handy so he's always Very trying handy. to get us in projects together um yeah we finished foe back in april and it was basically paul and i the entire time um we had another great actor aaron pierre as well um but i mean all of our scenes were together and we became really really close and we're really good friends now and I would say to him all the time, just like how how proud I was that the two of us, these, you know, two young Irish actors were leading a movie and also that, you know, I, I thought there was something kind of cool about it not being a movie that was set in Ireland. It wasn't about being Irish. We were just two actors that were chosen to lead this film together. And um, there was something really, I mean, I, I don't know how often that's actually happened, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So there's something very exciting about that. I mean, there's such a strong 
group now of acting talent of filmmakers um from home that are doing incredible work in ireland and abroad and um it's yeah it's just really it's a really exciting time i think fantastic Susha, thank you so much for your time today and i promise to keep the twist of this to myself okay please do you, no problem. <laughs>